Well, hello there and welcome back. In the last video, we built an author's module and hopefully you managed to add a few records as well. Now we're going to manually build a books module and this starts with the database. So I'm going to open up PHP my admin. So that's localhost forward slash PHP my admin. And you should have a database for me. It's called books repo. Okay, now there you can see our authors table. That's from the last video. It's all been created. But this time, I'm going to create a new table. And I'm going to call this table books. And it's going to have five fields. Okay. So we're going to have an ID. Now ID is going to be an integer. And I'm going to tick this auto increment here. And it's going to automatically select primary key, okay? So ID, it's an integer, auto increment. The next field is going to be title, T-I-T-L-E. All right, so that's going to be a variable character and I'm going to give it a length of 255 and then let's just go straight on to the next one which is going to be description. So description is going to be a text type. Okay, so type is text. We'll leave out the length and values, just keep it as it is. And then we're going to have an author's ID. So, auth actually, author ID. We'll go with singular. Author ID, right? So, author ID is going to be an integer. And we'll just leave it at the default value. And finally, let's add one in. You can see I've had a little practice run. But let's add one in here called published and we'll make published a tiny integer with a length of one. So the idea is if something is published, it will have a one. If it's not published, it will be a zero. I don't even know what that means, by the way, published. Aren't they all published? I don't know. Anyway, I'm just making it up as we go along. Let's just hit save. And there we go. A nice little table called books. Now, what I'm going to do for you folks is I'm going to export this and put it onto the page. So I'm clicking export and I'm going to just say quick, that's fine. And I'm just going to export this straight to the desktop for you folks, okay? So here we go. All right. Now, if I just show you what this thing looks like, here it is here books.sql and let me just give you a quick look. So there it is there, okay? So I'm going to take this and I'll add it to the page. I'll maybe get rid of some of these comments and stuff. And please do go ahead and create a books database table. 